Hi, I'm Nate from Dismembered Media. I uh, just got back from watching SVHS at the Sundance Film Festival, and I gotta say, the movie uh, the movie did a good job. Uh, it was probably one of the top two or three suspense movies at the, the festival this year. SVHS has a pretty simple premise. Uh, uh, a private investigator and his girlfriend stumble across a uh, set of VHS tapes, and uh, each one gets played individually to help them piece together what's happened with this person they're investigating. The wraparound segment that connects all these these movies together is a little clunky. Uh, there's some times where the, the story's a little absurd, the, the whole why would you stay there if that happened sort of thing. But if you ignore that piece, if you ignore the wraparound, which I felt was done a lot better with VHS last year, but if you ignore the wraparound, the four video segments that are played are, are pretty incredible, and they do escalate each one individually. The first segment, a uh, guy's given an ocular implant, and everything that he sees through that ocular implant is recorded and uh, used for research purposes, and he sees some pretty crazy stuff. Um, in the second segment, there's... Uh, I don't want to give spoilers too much, but there's uh, an awesome zombie attack and it goes without explanation and it ends without explanation but the the five to twenty minutes worth of captured footage of zombie footage is, is awesome yes there are a lot of times where you're laughing out loud and it seems a tad silly but the the theme of the film itself is very well done in each one uh, each one does progressively get more and more scary in the third segment which is uh, titled Safe Haven, things things go from bad to worse to worse to completely off of the rails. Literally, it's chaos. Uh, and, and it works. It's uh, it's almost foreign filmish. There are subtitles. Uh, it's about a, a religious, if you want to call it that, or a cult sect that uh, appears to be headed down one direction and it changes. And it's pretty intense. Yes, there are some of the cheap, uh, cheap scares. There's loud noises and, and sudden jump out at you. But there's also some real terror in it, which uh, which definitely helps the film. In the third one, uh, which I believe was uh, directed by Eisner, uh, it, it's pretty cool. It's uh, filmed through the GoPro camera, which is placed on a dog and uh, involves an, an alien invasion and abduction and. Uh, yeah, it uses a lot of bright lights and loud, loud sounds, but it's uh, it, it's pretty terrifying in itself. Uh, if you go into it expecting a lot of the same themes from the first one, uh, you won't be disappointed. Found footage movies are found footage movies. You're expecting to be uh, scared by what happens behind the characters. Uh, you're expecting uh, the, the fuzzy lines on the tape to to blur some images out, and, and, and you're almost okay with the unexpected. Under this one, knowing that it's it's better uh, as far as quality goes, the scares are better, the uh, the writing's better, the directing's better. Each of these guys did a great job with their segments. Um, as a whole, the movie did uh, did pretty well. I'm not sure how the indie crowd who fell in love with the first one is going to take to the second one first one was pretty well done. It was pretty original. This one follows right down the same path, but it's a, it's a pretty good one. For more reviews, check us out on dismemberedmedia.com.